What's going on people and welcome back. Now this is something a little bit different. I know a lot of you are subscribed because you want to see drill tutorials, want to see some UK rap, but I want to take a little break from that for a couple of videos and show you what else I can do. Um, so this is an R&B song by Lauren Kofi. It's called What I Need and we're going to break down the mix today. So let me play, play you a little snippet. Yeah. I'm all in. Try to stand my ground, but you got me falling And when you're not around, yeah, you got me calling I'm stressing about your love from the night to morning, morning, morning It's the way that I'm feeling, got me in my feelings deep Alright, so that is, a, that is a vast difference from what you normally hear on this channel But I think it's dope um, It's like an acoustic kind of performance type song And that's the kind of vibe we were going for um, and because of that, we wanted to make sure everything was stripped back. We wanted to keep the processing at a minimal, um, but we wanted a lot of reverb and delays to make it sound really angelic and, and like heavenly. <laughs> um, so let's break this down. Um, I'm going to mute all of our effects here and I'm going to switch to my, for some reason, the shortcut on my keyboard isn't working to switch to my mix window. So, uh, don't call me a noob because uh, I'm clicking about. All right, so let's start with our VMR. Now, you know I like VMR, um, and it's the first thing that's on the chain. Um, I recorded this, so I'm using my Slate microphone um, with the U67, um, uh, what do you call it, simulation, I guess. Um, and that's going into a Neve preamp, into the Neve EQ. Uh, so let's listen to what this is doing. Yeah. I'm all in, try to stand my ground, but you got me falling. And when you're not around, yeah, you got me calling. So it kind of tightens it up a little bit. Um, we've got a compressor in there as well, which I'm going to show you in a sec. Um, but we're doing a little boost on the high shelf on this Neve EQ. Now, this Neve EQ is very powerful, so you only really need to do just a little touch on it uh, more time to make your vocals shine, to make them sound brighter. Um, we're doing a boost at 13k and then we're going into this virtual channel and then into the 1176 um doing a free attack seven release and i think we're doing about five yeah i'm all in try to stand my ground but you got me for yeah we're doing about minus five decibels of reduction so nothing crazy like i said very strip back on what we're doing with our compressors and things like that this gate is actually bypassed so i'm just going to take that off so you don't get confused um but with these kind of strip back songs and we recorded like four or five of these songs um because there's not a lot going on in the, on in the backing track you can hear a lot of mouth noises and things you probably can hear a lot of mouth noises with me now because i'm just talking into a mic but um a lot of breathing and stuff like that so sometimes i use a gate just to smooth that out um but obviously i didn't in this one for whatever reason um so other than that we've got that goes into our vocal bus which is here and we've got a little eq on there yeah i'm all in try to stand my ground but you got me falling and when you're not around yeah you got me calling so instantly you can hear all of that room resonance just get cleaned right up um so that's a big scoop right there um about three decibels at 200 and we're leaving the highs alone because we still want that bright vocal you know we want to control the lows and the mids but still remain uh bright and because of that obviously we're going to start getting sibilance so that's why we've got a dsr of course we've got a couple of ds's on here this one's at 7.5k and then it goes into a compressor the r compressor doing a very light amount of compression like barely anything yeah i'm all in try to stand my ground but you got me falling like nothing basically um then another eq here just cleaning up what's this uh 2k a little bit at 4k and we're just doing it even more there at 300 
Nothing crazy though, nothing crazy, just cleaning up a little bit. Then we're going into another DSR, this time at 15K. And then Soothe, just to kind of round it, round it up, soothe out those, any harshness or anything like that. And I don't know if you can hear them fireworks um, in the background, but it's November, so you, it's not gunshots, don't worry. I'm not getting run up on. Um, but yeah, so yeah, that's that's our chain. Let's listen to it. Oops. Yeah. I'm Molly. Tried to stand my ground, but you got me falling. And when you're not around, yeah, you got me calling. And then that's all going into the CLA 2A. Just just tiggling it though, <laughs> as I like to say. Just just doing a touch of compression on that. Um, and that's everything. That's the, the bulk of the mix. The rest is just the crazy effects and reverbs that you hear that really make the track, if, if we're being real, really make the, not the track, but the um, the mix. So let's get into that. So first and foremost, we have this verb one. Let's hear what that's doing. Yeah. I'm all in. Try to stand my ground, but you got me falling. And when you're not around, yeah, you got me calling. I'm stressing my... It's a really small, um, it's a wood room reverb it's meant to sound really small and i love putting these reverbs on tracks because it takes the vocalist out of that small little vocal booth that i got the little five by six foot vocal booth and it puts them in a much bigger room you know say a bigger studio abbey road one of them abbey road joints or in this case on a stage or in a performance room um it's really subtle it's one of them things that you don't notice it's there but if i took it off um, you would notice. So I, I use these small reverbs a lot, um, just as a little bit of flavor. Um, but we have a bigger reverb here, which I'm sure you've heard. Yeah. I'm all in. Try to stand my ground, but you got me falling. And when you're not around, yeah, you got me calling. And that is the vocal heaven preset on the VSC. I can't remember if I made this attack so high or if it was part of the preset, but the high attack is so that, um, the slow attack, sorry, is so that the vocal can cut through before the reverb starts. And the reverb is so big, um, we don't want it to get drowned out too much. It is on the border line of being drowned out in reverb, but I think it works. I think it sounds good. Um, we are doing a bit of EQ on all of our reverbs and effects. I do EQs on my effects all the time. Um, then we have this eighth delay, which I really like. This eighth delay is kind of like what steals the show. Yeah. I'm all in. Try to stand my ground, but you got me falling. And when you're not around, yeah, you got me calling. I'm stressing much your love from the night to morning, morning. Dope. I'm gonna mute this piano as well so you can really hear it. Yeah. I'm all in. Try to stand my ground, but you got me falling. And when you're not. So it's a ping pong delay, it's really making that vocal sound huge. Um, EQ'd it a little bit. Well, a lot. <laughs> it's the phone kind of the phone effect EQ. But what really makes it sound that dope is it's running through that same reverb the angelic the <laughs> angelic boy i'm gonna be saying that word a lot this video in it angelic you know what a <laughs> what a dumb word um that's running through our reverb the uh the vocal heaven reverb and look how much reverb i'm actually putting on that delay a lot and that's kind of what makes it sound so big and so spacey and i love it i think it sounds great um and then a, f a quarter delay as well yeah i'm all in try to stand my ground but you got me falling and when you're not and that just fills up the gaps in what she's saying and just you know fills up that space and that's everything um we do have a little something something on the mix bus so we have a tape machine and I love tape machines and this was the perfect type of song for a tape machine. You know, we want this all to just sound a little bit, uh, a little bit old school, a little bit, you know, give it that tape sound. Um, a lot of body comes when you put on tape machines as well. Um, and because there ain't no bass or no kicks or anything like that, you do want to 
add somebody back into that track um not back he didn't leave but we want body you know you get me body <laughs> uh we got a little bus compressor there yeah in fact let me fast forward the song so you're not just listening to the same five seconds my 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 and you don't even try 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 tell me what do you want from me and just a touch again minus one decibels that's just to to glue the track together and then we have e an eq now um i usually i will bounce off before i do any eqs on a master bus i will bounce off the track and play it on my phone play it on my uh, laptop and any frequencies that i don't like i'll clean it up in on the master the master bus eq my 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 my, my, my and you don't even So it's quite you hear that it's whistly, horrible. And those kind of frequencies there really get exposed when you play it on your phone. So you just want to control those frequencies if you can. And then lastly, Ozone 8 with the image I was just doing a little bit there. 12.7 on the, the high mid. And that is everything. I didn't actually master the song that's out. So I had to prepare it, get it ready for mastering so i didn't do too much on that master bus but what i did do i think made a made a decent difference so let's let's listen without anything on that mixed bus my 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 and you don't even try 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 tell me what do you want from me and where does it go no be one night so that just brings everything out it makes it the finished product, glues everything together. Lovely stuff. And that is basically everything. That is the whole mix right there. About five or six plugins, you know. And it sounds great. And it just goes to show that you don't need to do a madness. You don't always need to do a madness to get your song sounding great. I know that it was the vibe that we were going for. We wanted it to sound stripped back. Um, we wanted it to seem like every... when In my head, when I was mixing it, I wanted to use plugins that were based on actual hardware and that could be present in the room when they were doing this performance. Um, so that's why I used a lot of kind of these, the VM, oh, that's the wrong one. The VMR is great for it. You got a lot of stuff that's modeled after actual hardware. So you got the Neve stuff, you know, the 1176, et cetera, et cetera. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Don't worry, we'll be back with some drill soon probably next month now i'm gonna drop one more r&b-ish video and then we'll be back to regular programming um thank you guys for watching make sure you are subscribed if you are not leave me a like comment let me know what you want to see next share the video hit up your cousin ray ray tell him yo there's this new video out you should check you should check it share on his facebook page i don't know but yeah thank you guys for watching i'll see you next time peace